Rarely have I experienced feeling so quickly that I made a video that is already outdated. AI seems to be on everyone's lips right now, not just here on this channel, but also at Home Assistant. Accordingly, the ER update includes some innovations. That could be very, very interesting for this project. I will introduce them to you after the intro. Enjoy. The ER release actually includes the ability not only to feed information from Home Assistant into OpenAI as before in order to generate corresponding responses and build a very, very cool voice assistant, but you now also have the option to use OpenAI to control Home Assistant. A new option has appeared in the settings that you simply need to activate. Additionally, you can control media playback more easily with new commands. Commands like pause, resume, next, or set the volume to a specific percentage have been possible before, but only after selecting the corresponding device. In the meantime, you can simply say pause and the device that is currently playing media will be automatically selected. Okay, Inabu, resume. Furthermore, you now have the option to filter sections by users or entities. This means that certain users simply do not see specific sections at all, which I personally find very, very convenient. Furthermore, you will also receive the Meta First of March Integration 2001, which allows login tokens to be valid for a longer period. Blueprints now have sections, allowing them to be expanded and collapsed, and you have the option to set background images for dashboards. But enough theory, let's just jump into the Home Assistant dashboard. And under Devices and Services, there should now be the option to press Assist for OpenAI Conversation and the Configure button. And when I send this all here and go into my assistant, I should now be able to say, turn off uh, the office heating. Everything is now sent to OpenAI and back, and then the heating is turned off here. The best part about it, and in my opinion, the advantage over many other voice assistants, is that you can also send multiple requests in parallel. So I can, for example, say, please turn off the heating in the office and bedroom, or something like, how is the weather right now? And kindly turn off the heating in the office at this very moment right now and i receive a direct response to both the weather request and the heating request yes and that's it for all the updates i hope you enjoyed this very short and concise video i definitely found it very important to include this as a follow-up to the last videos as many have asked in the comments when and how it might be possible to control home assistant remotely with a voice assistant if you like this, feel free to show it to me with a rating. If you don't want to miss anything, click subscribe. And I would say, see you next week for a new video. Until then, take care and goodbye, Usand.